Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my videos. So today we will do project number 21 jumping boxes. So I am speaking English because some people are commenting that speak English and some are just saying good well done. So I will speak both languages today. So who want to see the Hindi language so he can skip the video and let's begin the video with the English. Okay. So today we will do project number 21 jumping boxes. So it is very easy project when I see the reference it is very easy mm, but it is time taken okay so let's go so we have to just uh, the files these files I will give in the description you can download it from there then so come to sketch.js firstly then see variables fixed sprite 1 and 4 like this sprite 4 sprite 3 or then moving sprite then variable sound because they said to include the sound also no? that's why we are including sound here then in function preload we have to just load sound just load sound because there is no animation but just a sound so we have to just load it so like this music equals to load sound and then in comma music dot mp3 so this is this is the sound okay then function setup may oh sorry 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 guys then come to function setup create canvas then this is the main load main yes music Moving sprite equals to create sprite random because they can come randomly now. Is that's why we are just putting a moving sprite dot shape color equals to white. Moving velocity we have given the velocities the velocity velocity x and the velocity y to the moving sprite equals to three three both are three. Then fix sprite one equals to create sprite. Then in brackets the coordinates hundred comma five five eighty comma one eighty comma thirty then we have just given shape color equals to red then sprite 2 then the same coordinate or change in the color then 3 it is also same with the coordinates and the color 4 then the, then you have to come to function draw background we have this rgb 10 10 10 okay so you will just put this in means black RGB 10 and 10 means black. Otherwise, I will show. Oh, sorry, I I forget to show the output first. This is the output, guys. When it touches any color block, then it becomes that color. So, see firstly. But when it when it touches green, then the color should change to green. But the balls stop moving. See when it touches the green. I think no, 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 no. So it takes too much time. I think though we have to just go to base code again and just if uh, see I am the the background. Uh, this is RGB 10, 10, 10. Okay. So then if moving sprite dot x greater than okay guys greater than zero means you will stop. Okay, music stop but then uh, sorry guys like, music dot stop moving sprite dot velocity x equals to three else if moving sprite dot x is greater than eight hundred then also should the moving then also the music should be stopped so then moving sprite dot velocity x equals to minus three minus three yes if Music sprite dot is touching fixed sprite four. So music dot play music sprite dot shape color yellow means that that the color should be changed when it hits the four. Fourth one is this yellow. So it changed to this position. See see this touch is green. <coughs> so just put the code and then see then make all 
these things for uh, four three two and one then if music sprite dot y is smaller than zero so music dot stop music moving sprite dot velocity y equals to three and at the end the sprite my code dot js then so function is touching object or object two this is easy mem tells in the previous class so firstly we have to make the function is touching object this then if object dot x minus object two dot x is lesser than object two dot width upon two plus object the same as, as we done in the class return true then else return false okay so function bounce of object one object two if bounce oh, sorry sorry if object one then it is very long so you can also you can also see this means that the man and the class so you have to just see the class and after creating the class you have just put it in in index.html don't forget to put it in like script src equals to my code.js because we have included my code.js now okay so let's 